This is Salt Spring Island, one of the Gulf Islands off the west coast of Canada. These islands are one of my favorite places in the world. And this spectacular natural environment is the inspiration for an innovative builder who uses the most natural of building materials, the earth itself. What if we built our houses out of what's beneath our feet? Rammed earth is a traditional building technique still used today. Its name says it all. The main ingredient is simply highly compressed dirt. The material allows for the creation of buildings with an organic look and feel. One of the most stunning rammed earth houses is home to rock icon Randy Bachman of the Guess Who and of Bachman Turner Overdrive. Making their home as green as its surroundings was a labor of love for Randy and his wife Denise. Hey! Come on in. How are you? Nice to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you, Randy. Good to see you. So this is actually rammed earth. This is it? it. Compressed rammed wow. earth. That looks just like solid, solid concrete. Yeah, very solid. And colorful. And colorful. <laughs> Not as but you had to add that though. Yes. <laughs> Denise added she had a color palette and right. choose the colors and throw in seashells and different oxides which turn colors. Randy and Denise took advantage of the layering process of the wet earth to implant shells and other treasures along with the different colors. It all creates the feeling of a natural geological formation eroded by time. Even ancient fossilized creatures have been recreated by an artist and sculpted right into the walls. Inside, a pond keeps the humidity levels comfortable. And outside, a plant-covered roof keeps the house well insulated and intrigues the local wildlife. Part of the house is actually underground, and then, you know, when you build a house, you've taken that much land and that much weeds and that much trees out of the whole ecosystem, and you should try to put that back. But it could also be habitat for, I mean, I can imagine birds. Well, we, well, we, we walk out here and see deer right Sometimes. there in the feeding. Sometimes they this can very confused-looking deer comes and looks in the window while I'm on the computer, and I'm like, go back. <laughs> the Bachman's house was constructed by builder and designer Mirror Krayanoff. Mirror's rammed earth houses are famous throughout Salt Spring Island. Rammed earth is an ancient technology that has recently undergone a revival and has become very popular and accessible in a lot of uh, regions where it wasn't available before. It used to be that rammed earth was only in the hot, dry, arid areas of the world, and now it's become available almost everywhere. Some things haven't changed. Soil still forms the basis for making rammed earth walls. We're using the material that comes from beneath the topsoil, and we're careful about our soil selection, and then we compact that. Okay, we're standing in the formwork, and we're gonna put some foam in. And that's the insulation, really. That's exactly right, yeah. Okay. So Mirror Krayanoff has adapted the process okay. by insulating and strengthening the walls. And then we take some steel. I was excited about doing rammed earth, but it needs to be insulated. So we thought insulation, let's hide it in the middle, because the beauty of the rammed earth on both sides is uh, you know, a good attribute. Muir has coined the term sire wall to describe his modernized version of building with earth. Sire wall stands for stabilized, insulated, rammed earth. We use a little bit of cement, 5 to 10% cement, and we use some steel reinforcing uh, to make it strong against earthquakes. We put the soil in on either side of the foam and compact it. You're just guiding it, OK? It's, you don't have to press down or anything, just guiding it.
The rammed earth walls are tested for strength, and the results indicate that they will be standing for a long time. We take a diamond drill and drill out a cylinder like this, which goes to the geotechnical lab and then gets crushed. And that's how they determine the strength of our walls. And normally our, the results are twice what the engineer expects. So our walls are extremely strong. How do we know it just won't wash away with a lot of erosion? Well, let me show you. Water does not penetrate a rammed earth wall. So it leads to healthier indoor air quality. Looks pretty good. One of the things that happens when you get water in a house and it hits the drywall, you create the perfect environment for molds. So to have uh, a building material that doesn't support mold growth is really a, a tremendous benefit. Another advantage of walls made of rammed earth is that they don't contain the noxious chemicals present in many modern building materials. Building with a sire wall or rammed earth is uh, a very simple way to get dramatically improved uh, health environment. We've had an experience with an open house, a brand new house, and 1,400 people came through. And uh, we had three people who had multiple chemical sensitivities who came through and said for the first time they were able to walk into a new house and not have a reaction. It was these kinds of health concerns that convinced the Bachmans to choose this method of construction. Growing up, I had asthma, I had allergies, and it was, you know, all, pretty much all the time. And in this house, it's gone. And we notice when we're away traveling, we come in here and we go, doesn't this smell great? It's just a natural smell that you haven't smelled for a long time. And to have the house partially into the earth, into the ground, to have the walls being that thick, there's no real outside noises or vibrations that you get so acoustically. It's, it's just great for recording, for sound. Those big timbers up Recycled there timbers right. that used to be part of an old logging bridge have been installed to provide additional structural support to the house. And they make a good place to hang a hammock. The thick rammed earth walls definitely make for a great sound, but they also keep the house at a comfortable temperature year round. In the old days, if before central heating, if somebody wanted to stay warm at night, they would take a hot water bottle or they'd uh, put a brick on the wood stove and then wrap it in towels and bring it to bed. And it would stay warm for a long time. So basically heating up something that has a lot of weight and that material will store heat and then release it later. So we make the house like a hot water bottle. And as the sun comes in in the daytime, it will absorb that solar heat. You know, we may not always have uh, you know, cheap oil or cheap electricity. So to have housing that doesn't require heating is a, a great gift to our descendants. 